Hi, everybody. This is Jeanette from Boricua Sewing Crafts. Um, what we are going to do for this video is we're going to embroider laptop cases. This is something that I offer on my Etsy shop. And I thought it would be really cool for me to show you how I actually embroider these, um, these laptop cases. I usually just get these off of Amazon and then, you know, of course, you know, as for the blanks. I like to get this set because I really think this is really cool. You know, some people like to use their mouse and everything. So I like the fact that this set comes together with the little accessory case. And it also comes with the uh, regular laptop case. It comes in a lot of different colors and different sizes. And I really seem to like this brand because it's pretty thick and it's very, it seems to be very, very protective. I like the inside, the way it feels. So I'm gonna embroider this, okay? So I got an order. Um, they want, you know, their this one personalized. I usually do the initial, um, that's really um, decorative, and then I put the, the customer's name or whatever name they, they want on it. And then for this small case, what I do is I just put the initial on here, okay? Now, the way I do these is I do these on a multi-needle machine. I don't do it on a single needle machine because as you can see, um, you're kind of limited. You can only um, put, if you plan on just putting a person's name maybe here, you can probably do it on a single needle. It's going to be kind of very difficult though because as you can see, it doesn't um, open up much. And, you know, you need that flat surface. So it's going to be pretty hard. You see, even, if, even when I try to do that, see how the edges come in? It's going to be kind of hard for you to flatten this out for you to do on a single needle machine. Um, the only way I can see you doing this is if you have a different type of laptop case that opens a little more, okay? Maybe, you know, just um, is intact on one side and opens completely, okay? Or um, if you are creating one of these from scratch and then you would go ahead and embroider one of the panels and then you would sew everything together. So um, in order to do this on the multi-needle machine, what I do is I use um, fast frames. And this is just an extra one that I purchase. I always buy an extra one just in case something goes wrong in the, with this order. And then I'll return it, you know, if I don't use it. You know, just to let you know what all this stuff is right here. Um, and I actually like this color, so I'll probably do one for myself. Um, these are called fast frames, and this is what I use when I am doing things of this nature, okay, where it's kind of like enclosed and stuff. So what I do is I use the fast frames, and this is something that I purchased separately for my multi-needle machines. I use it with my six needle, and I use it on my 10 needle. I'm going to be doing this on my six needle machine because, you know, I mean, it's only two colors. I'm just going to use uh, gray and white, and... Um, what I recommend is I use this hoop, which is, let's measure this right now. This is a, let's see, it's like an eight by eight. Um, so what I usually do is I set up the uh, the hoop on it, on it brilliance to like a six by six. That way I know for sure that whatever I design in here fits in this hoop, okay? And then this is the small one that I use, okay? Um, and usually what I'll do is I'll open this. Now, this would be very easy for you to embroider on a flat machine. See how this um, unzips all the way around? So if you can get a laptop case that kind of opens this way, okay, then I would say you can do this on a single needle machine because as you can see, you open it up and it's very easy access and all you have to do is just lay it down straight, okay? so. Very, very easy if you can get a laptop case that opens up similar to this to do on a single needle. But anyway, going back on here, this is what I use for this. And then I just lay it on here. And I for these small ones, I just do the initial. And again, it's only two colors. So I'm going to do this on the six needle machine. Um, okay, with this, I just throw this stuff out. All right, so let's prep our hoops for this. And we can prep the items and stuff. So I use um, sticky stabilizer for this, okay? Um, something that helps me also when I'm working with these fast frames. Um, 
it's supposed to have a little hump coming up. And, I, and let me put this a little closer so that you can see. See how it's supposed to like come up. Sometimes you can get uh, confused and then install it the wrong way. So I, as a safety measure, I just put top on here. So that way I know that this is the top that goes into the machine. I do the same thing on all of them, okay? Because sometimes you're in a hurry and it can just leave your mind. And then next thing you know, you can ruin a project and stuff. So little tip there, if you have these, something that I do. Here is my sticky stabilizer. And um, I'm going to apply it on the small one first, okay? This is how I do it. And then I turn it up. And as you can see, this is the sticky part. Okay, this is the sticky part in here. And then what I do is I just take this and I just align it nice and neat. Okay, and then I'm good. Okay, and stuff. So I know that I just have to do my initial in here. So this is ready to, to go. Okay, now for the, the big one, okay. I do the same process. I have this. I already got it pre-cut, so I know it's going to stick on here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel this off. I'm going to turn this over. Okay. okay. There we go. Make sure it's nice and secure. There you go, turn it over, and see, there you go. Okay, so this is how I do, this is how I hoop my stabilizer for both items. And then with this, what I do is I just put this inside, okay, and stuff. Now, um, you do want to make sure that you start off at the middle. So what I do is I like to have little stickies. Okay, these kind of help. I have used um, markers in the past, like these little uh, markers that you can use and then you, with the heat, it goes away. But then I've noticed that in the cold, sometimes the, the, the mark will show up again. So I don't want to, to ruin the fabric in any kind of way. So I'm like, nope, I'm staying away from that. So these dots kind of help. So what I do is I just measure myself and then I, I get the, the center point and then I say, okay, that's fine. Okay, right, so right here from here to here, okay, let's see. From here to here, you got 15 and a half, okay? My math is really, really bad. Um, wow, I can't find my stuff, okay. Um, you know when you clean and, and you can't find stuff? It's terrible, right? All right, so let me see. All right, so I'm going to measure from here to here. And from here to here is about 14.75. And I'm going to divide that by 2. That's 7.38. So it's around 7. I'm going to say 7.5. Yeah, about 7.5 this is my center point right here. And I'm just gonna take a little sticker and put it here and then put it in several areas here. That way, you know, I mean, you want it to be as centered as possible. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these, these peel right off and it doesn't leave any mark. So I, I like circles. These, these work um, for me. So, and these are very, very inexpensive to get. Um, you can buy them by the pack. So here's my center point. So this gives me an idea. So when I go to put this in the machine, I want to make sure that I'm aligning it right here. And this is a good port for me to, uh, you know, a good place for me to start embroidering the initial and also the name. Okay. So now I'm going to go to Embrilliance and I'm going to create the files for, uh, for embroidering both of these items. And... Let's go over to Embrilliance and see how we how I do this, okay? Okay, I'm over here by Embrilliance. Now, there are two 
hoop sizes that I'm going to need. Um, I'm going to do a uh, five by five and also, well, probably a four by four and a um, six by six. So I'm going to go through my hoop sizes here. Here's a six by six. I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to hit OK and I want to go out a little bit. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to look for my files. Okay, um, let's see. First I wanna do is I wanna put the initial and then I'm gonna type the, the person's name on it. Um, the initial is going to be the letter S because the name's gonna be Stacy. Um, I'll probably do a three inch. Let me try four. Um, I think a three would probably be, be better. Um, well, no, I think the four will do. Okay, because it is a little big. Okay, and I'm gonna put her name. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. Thank goodness I checked. Name is Sherry. S H E R R Y. Yeah, always double check your orders and stuff when you get them because you don't want to. Uh, cause that would have been bad. Really, really bad. Okay. Now, I usually use this font for the laptop cases. And let me move this down. I'm going to be down a little too much. I'm going to move it up. That looks pretty good. Um, I am going to make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Put it right in the center. Move this up more. And this looks perfect. Okay, so this looks really good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color thread because she wants it in white. Okay. So this is white. Um, the big part, I'm going to change that to white as well. All right. Now the little side, um, side decor around it, I'm going to change that to a light gray. Or silver, silver, silver. There you go. There you go. So this is perfect. Okay, so this works. So I'm saving this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this on my USB. And this is uh, Sherry Big. Okay, so I know it's for the big laptop. Okay, now I'm going to add another design. And it's going to be the same. Um, but I am going to pick a hoop that is smaller and let's see that's two by two that's a four by four i'll do the four by four and i'm gonna hit apply and hit okay um and i'm going to just ask for the initial okay and the initial is an s and I'm gonna do two inch. I think two inch would be good. Yes, that's perfect. Um, two inch, you know what? I could go three. Let me uh, get a three inch. Um, three inch of a letter S. Um, if you're interested in where I got these, um, I got this from uh, Designs by Ju Juju, something like that. I think it's called the Evelyn. Uh, yeah, Designs by uh, Juju, and I think it's called Ev Evelyn Mono. And uh, let me see. Let's change the color here. Okay, this S, I want it white to match, you know, the, the big case. And then this, I'm going to do silver. Hit okay. 
All right, so then what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to save this as Sherry Small, okay? Because this is for the small case. All right, so now I have created both of these files. See how quick, it's not, not hard at all. I've created both of these files. I saved them on my USB. So now let's just go over to the machine and get these things um, done. Easy pleasy. Okay, guys, I'm just going to take the whole thing, even me changing the thread and stuff like that. As you can see, um, I'm going to put the USB on here. I'm going to do the small case first. Okay, so I'm going to pull up the small case, and I know I called it Sherry Small, the small case. And I'm hoping that it shows up on here because I know I did save it. Where is it? There we go. That's a sherry, but that's another sherry. There you go, sherry small. Awesome. Set. All right. End. Okay. Let me change out. I'm going to hit in border. And then I'm going to change out the, um, the threads. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to return. I'm going to cancel this. Let me edit it. And yeah, okay, so I have some white thread on there already, but I don't like the white thread that's on there. It's, it's the Sim thread. This is the uh, Fluoride, Floria, whatever. This is shiny. So anyway, I'm gonna change out this thread, the white thread that I have on the machine right now. And I'm gonna use this one that I have on here. And I'm tying knot. This is usually how you change threads on here. Let me change this one too. Put the silver thread on here as well. Usually you cut out the old thread and you tie a knot. Okay. And let's see, I'm gonna hit okay. All right, the white one. You just usually just pull the old one until the, the new thread shows up. You just feed it too. It makes changing the color of the thread so much easier when you tie the knot. And so the only thing I don't like is then you have all this kind of like waste, but that's okay. I mean, it is what it is, right? So, okay, so here's, it's on the third needle, the white. Okay, there's my knot. Here. All right, so now let me show you how we install the fast frames, okay? Now, this is the fast frame, okay? And then what you do is, you know, it's kind of funny sometimes because you see this here, so you think you have to put it in like this. It's not like that. You turn it over like this. This is the part that goes behind, okay? So it, you would put this in like any other mighty hoop or whatever and you and you just put that in here okay now i'm going to show you this is the the small one right now see how you have these little two holes in here you have this little hook okay well what i should have showed you before i do that is let me show you this okay and you can put it in now as a matter of fact see how i can unscrew this Put this in here, the little holes go into this thing, and then just screw this, make it tight. Hold on, making it real tight here. There you go. I see, now it's one. And then now you, I can put it in here, okay? Sometimes, you know, you can put it in, and then you can put this on later, you know, once it's on. But it is easier to just have it done, and then you, you put it in the machine. Okay, so this is the six needle. Um, I could also do this on the 10 needle, which my 10 needle is, is right over here. Okay, the thing is too is, you know, I mean, I've used my 10 needle so much yesterday. I wanna give it a break. Okay, so um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use my six needle, even though I've been using the six needle a lot too. But, um, you know, I figured, let me, let me show you guys on the six needle. 
because um, some people have the six needles. So, okay, so right away, I look at this and I could tell that it's kind of off, right? Because the six needle has like a laser, which I really love and I kind of wish, and let me see if you guys can see it. Um, I kind of wish that the 10 needle had a laser as well. But one of the things that's great about the 10 needle is it does have the camera and it scans and it shows you exactly where it's going to uh, go when you are embroidering and stuff like this. So, but this is okay. Um, as you can see, this is the center point, okay? But it is um, two, you know, two, uh, it, it needs to go higher, okay? So what I'm going to do, and this is another trick that you can do as well. Let me take this out because I can always just pop this in later. Let me take this out so you can see. Something that's really helpful also when you're working with these fast frames is see how I can tell where the dot is. Okay, and I want to make sure that you get to see it. But um, if you don't, let me have something to, to point at it so that you can see. The dot is like right here. You can do... If I do uh, cancel, I can do a trace, okay? And this will show me exactly where the item is going to. As you can see, the needle is going to hit the bottom of this, okay? It's not really at the center point, okay? So what this is really great for is it allows me to go ahead and move it up, okay? And then I can do another trace, so it'll show me exactly where the item is going to embroider on the hoop. And this is perfect. Okay, but notice how I had to lift it up a little bit, okay? So now that I have my, have it centered on the hoop, now what I wanna do is I wanna place this in. Now, one of the things is you can do it one of two ways. You can just place it in just like I'm doing right now, or you can then remove the hoop and then place it in, okay? But I'm pretty comfortable with where it is right now. Um, looking at this, I feel like it should go a little bit more to the left. Because that's not really exactly the center point. I just want to measure real quick. Five and a half. Um, yeah, because I think I may have placed this just a little bit off. There you go. This is much better. Okay. Now, another trick that I kind of do sometimes, especially when I'm doing these things, is I use these little clips. Okay. Let me show you. I have these little clips and stuff, and I usually just put it on here, you know, just to secure it a little bit more so that it doesn't uh, go off. There you go, so I have this all done. It is ready. I'm just gonna do one more trace because I wanna make sure, okay? Always trace. You know, do all your checks before you start hitting that button. Okay, and then I also wanna see where is it going to, there you go, perfect, okay. Right, because you don't want, I don't want it to go like right on the zipper and stuff. So it looks like this is gonna be perfect, all right? So I'm gonna hit in border. I'm gonna make sure that my colors are in the right place, the, the, one needle is supposed to be silver, and it is. The third needle is the white, which it is. I'm good to go. So I am going to go ahead, and I'm going to embroider the small piece.
Sorry, had some running around to do and stuff. Let me show you guys what this looks like now. Let's, um, I'm going to take this out of the machine. Okay. And let's go over to the board so you guys can see. All right. So I'm going to remove this from here. And I'm going to take this out gently. And here's the small case and what it looks like. See? So you want to do it in white. Is the back. Okay. And just, it's done. Okay. I would do, uh, you know, I'm going to, uh, see, there you go. Same thing with the big one. Okay. Take this out. And sorry, my fast frames are a little dirty. You gotta, you know, take these out. If you got go go, glue gone, glue gone. This works great to remove this gook stuff. So as you can see, it's time for me to start cleaning my fast frames and stuff. So when it comes to the big one, okay, I'm not gonna waste the time with the video, but I'll put a picture of it um in the video description same concept with this okay you put this on same way just like that screw it in okay there you go and same thing you just pop this in here okay you know you just line it up however you want it you know, I secure the size, okay, with these. Or I try to, you know, just, I, I monitor this because since it is big, okay, I do monitor it to make sure that there's no shifting going on. And you just stick it in the machine and just keep going. And next thing you know, you I, it does the initial and then it does the name, okay? So I just want to do a real quick video. Um, I'll do the small one just so you guys can see, you know, just get the concept on how to do it. This is really great. I mean, you don't just have to do an initial and name. Sometimes you can do a different embroidery design on here and put people's names. You can really customize a laptop case using your multi-needle machine. I mean, this is like really something that's really, really cool. Lots of people love this. People use laptops all the time. And they're always looking for some type of case and stuff to um, carry their laptop in. And this is something to really give them a really unique, unique gift. So anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to do the, the big one because, you know, it's going to take a long time. And I'm also debating on changing the font. So I just emailed the customer. I want them to get back to me to make sure that I, I put, use the right font that they want. So that way I know for sure that they're going to be happy with the um, end result. But this is not going to change. So I decided, let me just show you guys the small one. All right. So guys, hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm all about embroidery, sewing, different um, crafts. So um, I also host em um, Embroidery Happy Hour on Fridays at 8 o'clock. And I also have a Facebook group called Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures. So hope you can join us there. So you guys have a great one. Enjoy your holidays. Please be safe. Talk to you later. Bye. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>